All right then, so we are back on Black Ops 6 Zombies. Now, this is a very special episode of the Road to Nebula series. I think I said that last episode well, and it really wasn't that special, but yeah, in this video, right, the weapon we're going to be doing is the knife, okay? Now, a lot of people have told me that the knife really isn't that good, and I've gone ahead and used it, obviously, to go ahead and get up to about 1,783 kills, and my overall consensus is, yeah, it's really bad, all right? And there's only really one reason to why it's bad, and it's literally just for the fact that, like, you can only kill one zombie at a time time now somebody left me a lovely little tip in the comment section which i'm gonna go ahead and apply to this episode which hopefully should make it a little bit easier but overall right like this thing kind of just sucks so yeah i don't really know how long this is gonna take us i'd assume like a decent bit right because we need to rock up like at least another 200 kills with this thing uh and then, yeah like what are the special challenges so for dying bloom we need to get 300 kills while brain rot is equipped and then for vacation leopard we need to kill 75 armor zombies okay so that is gonna be a little bit of a pain but i think we'll be fine for gold we need to get rapid kills which i don't think will be too much of a problem because i'm going to be running ether shrouds because obviously just ether shrouds with the knife is just extremely busted uh, and yeah you know hopefully everything should be all right obviously there's no weapon loadout for this video because you know how, how am i going to apply attachments to a knife like come on not gonna put a bipod on this bad boy uh, but yeah you know we'll see how fast we can get through this you know before we do i'll go ahead and like jump into a game though i am just gonna go ahead and look at my augments so obviously i did a big stream yesterday i think it went on for like five hours or something like that and during that stream i went ahead and fully maxed out napalm burst and apparently nearly maxed maxed out cryo freeze i don't know how i don't know how this happened but yeah i started researching elemental pop because i do want to try and get the electric trade burst like even though it's really not that good apparently uh, i still want it you know it, it, there, i'm sure there'll be one situation at some point in my life where this is going to come in really useful so i want to go ahead and get it uh, and uh, yeah i think after that like that is pretty much every single perk that i want to kind of like level up uh, i really don't care too much about it after that and, uh, yeah i also want to go ahead and start leveling up dead wire at some point so that'll probably be like in the next episode or something like that depending on if i can start like sorting out uh, elemental pop actually no, I know for a fact that Deadwire won't be in the next episode because I'm going to go ahead and like mass record a bunch of these. But yeah, either way, right, this is what I'm working on. So just to keep everyone up in the loop. Now, since I don't have to do anything with like parasites or anything like that, I can just play on our lovely map, Liberty Fall. So sorry, AS Val, you will be missed. Why I say sorry, AS Val, bro, this is the second time I've ever played uh, Terminus. Actually, no, in all fairness, AS Val was the first ma uh, gun which actually forced me to play Terminus. I, I willingly did it during the Amy's video. I I'm still pissed about that Amy's video, bro. That, that, holy, that made me feel a certain way. All right, so here. Here we are. Obviously, I'm only allowed to run the knife. Now, I can actually fully show off this, like, funky little animation here of having the vault edition. Bro, I love this animation. Like, it tries to kill me and so that. Like, it's real scary stuff, but this is easy. Like, one of the coolest, uh, I guess, like, weapon skins you get all having the vault edition, in my opinion. Like, it is just so clean. And you don't have to, like, run a certain weapon. Like, you can pretty much always have this on as well, which is cool. I think it's awesome, but... Oh, my God. I should, I'm going to get, like, 300 kills afterwards with the knife as well, with brain rot. Oh, that's going to suck. All right. A little bit of a yikes. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll just get it done. All right. I got 2,000 kills with this thing all right 300 kills is nothing so yeah i do have like the next few weapons all planned out uh for anyone who actually cares about the series obviously we're doing the knife this episode because i don't know i feel like suffering and don't worry though next episode i also feel like suffering more because this is the gun i'm going to be using the marine sp or whatever it is it absolutely sucks it is without a doubt one of the worst weapons in the game and the fact you had to get critical hits with this thing is abysmal all right like genuinely made me sad but, you know we'll go into that more next episode uh, but yeah so the episode after that though i want to go ahead and i think i'm going to do the sigma rocket launcher all right I don't know I keep bringing it up and I went ahead and got a bunch of kills of it uh, when I was on stream so yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that one as well you know it's like getting away from the assault rifles a bit all right I don't know how long it's gonna take me to do an SMG you know we'll get to that when we get to that but yeah you know I just want to try other guns out for a bit you know probably just get through a bunch of like the painful guns now just so it makes our lives a little bit easier down the line so yeah I mean I'll probably do the baseball bat as well at some point because I've heard that it's actually worse than knife which I am not looking forward to okay this knife is already a two shot as well which isn't great you know what, look right maybe just maybe I'll get myself a pack punch I actually just got the worst thing known to man. Okay. Obviously, like, I'm not limited to only using the knife, but I feel like I want to just try and use the knife only, right, this entire video. I feel like it'd be a little bit quirky if I did. It isn't going to be very good for points, though, because you're actually getting less points when you get kills with a knife compared to, like, actual weapons and, like, getting a crit, which is really weird to me. I don't know why they do that, but whatever, I suppose. See, my favorite thing, though, all right, about, like, running around with a knife is, like, the movability you get with it is insane. Like, I love the fact that it's pretty much, like, a permanent tax sprint. There was some guy, right, in my comments that was like, yeah, it says the knife gives you permanent attack sprint while he's using stamina up like big man i'm gonna give it to you real right now all right stamina up doesn't give you infinite attack sprint all right the, the knife does like unironically the knife does all right i i hate to break the news to you right but if stamina up had a permanent attack sprint there wouldn't be any need for the augment where it increases your tactical uh sprint duration like let, let's do our research here big man see obviously i love black Ops six zombies right and i get that like there's people who aren't as familiar with the game as you know myself for example but it's so funny just seeing people just like fundamentally just get things 
wrong in the comment section. It's so funny to me. I love it though, right? Like, I feel like I'm the veteran for once. I feel like I'm the big man in town. Big ups to anyone who's like recently started playing zombies or welcome to the community. See, for all of my, uh, my old zombie community members, I suppose, what I'm hoping, right, is with all of these new people coming in, is that we actually kind of improve this community a bit because not to, you know, deter people away, but at the moment, community is kind of ass. It's a little bit more on the grim side, but hopefully, all right, you guys are going to make it better, all right? You, that's right. I'm looking at you, big man. You're the star of the show here today. You're the man of the hour. Oh my God, dude, this, this, this knife actually sucks so bad. This is what I'm saying. Like, the fact you can only kill one zombie at a time is insane to me. I do need to get melee macchiato, like, as soon as possible. Like, I don't even know how you'd make the knife better. Like, maybe, like, if it, I guess it does kind of stun the zombies. Like, it's weird, right? Like, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if it's just the fact that these guys are walkers or, like, what's happening here, but, like, sometimes they do just hit you, right, before you even get a chance to, like, shoot them. And, uh, yeah, that is kind of a pain in the ass. But also, lovely stuff, right? All the McDonald's before I started recording this. Because usually, right, the McDonald's near me, it takes, like, decades to get delivered. You know, like, I might as well pre-order for the next day. That's how long it takes on. You know what I mean? Uh, and, of course, this is the one time where they're, like, apparently on their fucking A game. Manager must be in stock today being, like, got boys, we gotta keep it up, alright? We can't be letting them fucking age to 90 before we give them their food. Uh, and apparently they're gonna deliver it in, like, 10 minutes. So, that's awesome. Uh, there'll be a random cut where I just, like, go for, like, 10 minutes. So, that's gonna be fun. You know what, right? I just realised we're already at, like, 100 eliminations, which is pretty cool. So, we are kind of, like, making some big moves here. See, I, I kind of wish, right, there was, like, an augment for Melee Macchiato that had it do, I guess, like, a sweep attack, kind of similar to Ethereal Razor from Black Ops 4, if anyone knows what that is. If there was an augment for that, that would have been really cool. They kind of have one similar, right, with the, the punch. I think it's, like, triple shot or something like that, where it hits three enemies at once instead of two, or one, sorry. No, I said two. Uh, that would be uh, good on its own, but, uh, no, nah, they said you get one enemy at a time. But that's what I'm saying, right? Like, if they had something like that, but for the knife instead of the punch, then that would, like, make Mal uh, Melee Macchiato just so much better, I think. Personally, I'm a little bit disappointed with uh, with the new perk we got, but I mean, then again, right, I'm just glad we got a new perk, you know what I mean? I think throughout the entirety of uh, Cold War, I think we literally just got Elemental Pop as technically a new perk, because every other perk, again, I'm pretty sure was just a reuse, right? Not to say, obviously, they didn't come with, like, new abilities and stuff like that, like, they definitely improved them and made them different, but at the end of the day, like, they were just the same thing, right? But then again, right, I, I suppose, like, after Black Ops 4, how much more original with perks can we get, boys? Like, we had so many perks in Black Ops 4, it was genuinely insane. But most of them were useless, right? Like, that was the thing with Black Ops 4, where, like, with these newer games, the perks are actually, like, unique and, like, actually good. That's the type of perks I'm, I'm wanting, but... Yeah, I bought Melee Macchiato anyways, because in case you guys didn't know, I think I've gone over this on the channel, but, again, in case you didn't know, Melee Macchiato in general actually does just boost melee damage. Like, you saw there, I think, like, the common knife, literally no pack punch, no uh, rarity upgrades or anything like that. It was free shotting, right? And it took that to a one shot, just with Melee Macchiato alone. So it's definitely a big help. You know, at minimum, it does, like, three times the damage. So it's obviously useful, but, yeah, no, it's just a shame, like, the augments don't really help it that much, and I, I don't know. It, it just seems like, once again, it's another gear where, like, melee isn't as viable as, like, normal weapons and stuff like that, which is kind of upsetting, but it is what it is. Again, you know, eventually, we're gonna get more, like, weapons in the game, you know, like, through seasons and stuff like that, so maybe we'll see something that has, like, a sweeping attack, because I'm pretty sure there was a scythe on Cold War that had, like, a sweeping attack, uh, but the scythe was absolutely dookie, right? So may maybe they'll cook, so uh, cook something up, alright? I don't know. We'll have to see, but, alright, we're getting really close to being done with the, uh, the eliminations here. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's what, like, someone told me in the comments, but I just haven't really applied. That will definitely be useful to you guys if you guys are working on the knife, alright? And I'm probably gonna use it during the baseball bat stuff, but someone told me, right, that apparently if you put dead wire on your knife, the kills that dead wire gets you actually does count as, like, a melee elimination. So, that is kind of a way that you could technically kill multiple enemies at once. It might work with, like, Blast Furnace as well. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, apparently dead wire 100% works, so I would recommend definitely doing that. I'll probably switch to that after I'm done with all the brain rot kills. You know, obviously, assuming that I complete that first before, like, you know, the armor kills, stuff like that, but before the brain rot kills. But, yeah, you know, that is definitely something that I really wish I knew before I went ahead and got a bunch of kills with a knife. So, you know, I thought I'd just tell you guys that now. I'm kind of surprised there's nothing to do with manglers, because this is, like, one of those times where the knife is actually really good against the manglers. All right, game, are you going to give me a funny blue, blue e for tool rare thingy? That's, that's, that, that literally was not a word that I just said there. Lovely stuff, all than Jake. This whole, like, sidey trigger is so OP, by the way. It is genuinely busted, like, with how good it is. There's some crazy ones that I found out about on, uh, on Terminus as well. One where you can get, like, 32k points. Like, that shit is insane. Apparently, if you do it right, you can even get up to, like, 64k points. It's something like that, is what I heard, which is, like, mad. And this is, like, all before, like, round 10. So that's kind of insane. But there we go. All right, we've got managed to get Purple Tiger. So, obviously, what I need to do now is to go ahead and put Brain Rot on our knife here. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is, like, obviously, if a zombie does become tired, 
understand. Like, are they just gonna start killing all zombies? Oh, who the fuck just joined my game, bro? Piss off. But yeah, like, are they just gonna start like popping off and just like killing all zombies? And are those kills not gonna count? Like, I, I don't know how it's gonna work. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just find out. But my food's yes, so I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go eat real quick. All right, so I'm back to where I was. I have no idea what I was actually doing uh, before I left because it has been like a solid hour and a half. I'm pretty sure I wanted a brain rock kill. So yeah, I think this is mainly gonna be like a combination of like just going through the rounds and probably doing the sam trials. I really need to go ahead and start that soon. Is there even one on the map like active right now? I, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I just don't see one. Okay, well, God, of course it had to be. Wait, oh, dude, I was gonna say, of course it had to be fucking brain rock, man. I'm kind of hoping that all of these brain rock kills like do somehow in some magical world actually count towards, you know, like the brain rock kills. That'd be kind of nice if it did. I doubt it's going to, but you know, it would have been nice. Also, right, since I don't really want to be dealing with the abominations, I think I am going to do that little abomination trick that I was talking about in, I think, the last episode. Also, this knife looks so cool with this pack of winch camo as well, and, like, the whole, like, skin and stuff like that. Like, it looks so sick. The blue is so cool on it, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to do the whole, like, no abominations trick. So, I mean, if you don't know how to do that, essentially, you just keep that whole door down there into the bowling alley from this side closed. And then what that makes it do, right, is, like, the abomination just can't get to you. I, I don't know really, like, exactly the, the reason behind it i just assume that's like the closest spawn and he, yeah, he just can't figure out to go around i guess god i'm gonna need to buy jug as well like i don't feel like i'm healing like at all from this knife it's crazy like i obviously am but it's like it doesn't even feel like it's there oh unlucky nuke all right well i mean let's open up into here we can go ahead and start the sam trial plus i can go ahead and buy myself quick revive so it's just this whole trap thing like I i'm not gonna bother with that i'm literally just gonna mainly use it for like just getting the zombie kills i think see i kind of wish they made it that like the higher i guess pack wounds level your knife was the more healing you got to zombies i mean that could actually just be how it works i have no idea it doesn't feel like that's how it works but because yeah I'm, I'm still only getting like 25 hp oh the good luck doing this in gold if you had like the the turtle shell augment on for jug where armor just doesn't work the same way i, I guess it does normally that would be actually grim all right so we have a decent few points so i'm gonna go ahead and get level two armor so hopefully i should help a bit there is an abomination on the map so not gonna be too long now until i just you know go ahead and make my way over to the bowling alley i do kind of want to do this right there's like a side stripe where if you throw three semtexes into that pool of blood down there uh you actually just like get a bunch of salvage or something like that i'm not entirely sure how it works to my knowledge you don't actually get that much uh, and it also has to be a semtex which is kind of annoying like from what i've seen on it apparently you actually gain like less salvage from the whole side east drag than you would like like having to buy the semtexes from like a crafting bench which is kind of mad don't know why they thought that was a good idea but you know whatever we moved God, can you even kill a mega abomination with a knife you can oh my god we're doing big damage you know in all fairness like i thought we were gonna get clapped but like like yeah this isn't doing like awful in all fairness I'm kind of curious to see like how a crit would look so come on can you do a funny like shooting attack or like what's happening here big man yeah you doing it nope you're just doing a charge attack okay oh here we go here we go okay so run up start meleeing nope you just can't do crits to him apparently with a knife okay cool stuff i mean again though right like we're doing big damage anyway so it, it seems like a pain but you can technically do it also we've got a funny gobble gun what are we gonna get anywhere over here that is honestly grim uh, i guess i'll go ahead upgrade the rarity of this thing over the purple might as well this thing should just like one tap manglers i think yeah it just did unlucky see like this thing's actually like really effective against the manglers oh also we got semtex finally okay go ahead throw that in the pool there we go that's literally all i wanted to do it for because i'm pretty sure now if i make my way down here we should just gain a bunch of salvage right was there was there an additional step like okay unlucky i guess maybe it has to be all in like the same round seems a little bit silly like like literally right it genuinely seems like you have to throw it in, in like quick succession so you actually have to just like craft them i don't know that, that seems like the most pointless side easter egg so far at least that i know of something i do want to check out for a video right is the whole like side easter egg where you get to like play as that um ethereum woman or whatever the whatever her name is you know what i'm about right the one in the comic book store i kind of want to do that side easter egg at some point i don't see at what point in a video that would be useful so it'd either have to be its own video entirely or i just do it for the shits and giggles i think you need a jet gun for it though because you need to like suck up a bunch of things around the map actually i know exactly how they get to work i gotta pop a cheeky little emote hey, there you go <laughs> this is actually still like the goofiest shit in zombies ever like i, I understand we kind of had emotes and stuff stuff like that in a uh, cold war i suppose but like they were never to that extent man i don't think it's a bad change but i think it's funny like i can only imagine right, like some of like the funny emotes they do so like imagine like doing the terminus easter egg and you just like take out that one girl's brother and you just hit him with like hit him with a cheeky like twerk or something like that you know like like fucking sergeant frank wood style that'd be that would be kind of funny i can't lie i would rep that also oh my god i still just hate taking out vermins with like just a knife it is just and it's such a grim experience because they just do so much damage to you that's like the only thing with it give you like no time to heal 
Oh, it's so annoying. Is there meant to be like a funny nuke up there? I swear there is. Also, where are we on kills? Right, we're at 461. I think we're like 100 or so kills away. Like, like we're pretty close. You know, we're, we're getting there. Uh, I think I'm going to pop this Aether Shroud here. So in case you don't know, right, there's actually an augment for Aether Shroud where essentially like you can kind of stay in this mode longer as long as you're getting like melee kills. So when you're doing like these knife challenges and stuff like that, it's actually kind of like a godsend. And it does like kind of negate the whole only killing one zombie at a time thing. Because obviously you can kind of just go on like a mad train just stay in it for like a long time which is kind of huge and yeah especially if you've got like the other augment unless you have two at a time like yeah it is actually like really good oh wait whoa we got dying bloom wait what oh, oh there we go your fringe elimination with brain rock kill okay i didn't think we were that close all right well there we go i guess that's cool so now we're just onto the armored zombie kills which i'll be real i have no idea how close i am to doing that so i guess we'll just keep playing until that pops up but i am going to go ahead and switch over the dead wire just to try and make my life a little bit easier see how good it is for you guys because um, obviously if it's crap and there's like no point of doing it then you know I, I guess don't bother but just in case right like so far it's it's not gone off for me a single time which is a little bit upsetting but i suppose it's something you know every little helps oh there you go it's just gone off um that doesn't really seem to be doing actually uh, it was doing something i guess like it wasn't doing like crazy numbers or anything but i suppose like maybe if you had it fully upgraded it would be a bit better i, I don't i don't really know I, I might be coping here boys it's all right though you know it's better than not having it i suppose dude 75 armor zombies really does kind of like seem like a lot i guess we're gonna have to wait until probably past round 25 for that which is a little bit grim especially if i'm gonna try and exhale god there's just people launching fireworks outside my house right like in the uk right at least on the day i'm recording this uh it's currently the fourth and obviously in the uk right we have a, a thing called bonfire night on the fifth all right it's got the funny little saying you know remember remember the fifth of november you know it's got a funny little jingle uh, and that is a day that people like to launch fireworks all right for some reason right for the last like week they've just been launching them every day of november bro like come on bro we have one day dedicated to it for you to do it bro why are you gonna do it every Every single day of September or November, sorry. Like, I'm, I'm raging, all right? It honestly makes me a little bit grumpy. Like, come on, boys. We don't have the fucking saying, remember, remember every single day in November. You know what I mean? Like, it's got one day for a reason, boys. It's the one day you're allowed to be loud and annoying. Like, Wait, we just hit a crit on that guy. Whoa, what? We hit a crit on that guy and it literally did so much damage. Holy. Well, I guess you can hit crits on them, but like, it's just really rare. I don't get like how that happened. All right, we move, I guess. Has anyone figured out what that whole like side Easter egg there is? With like the weird floating uh, orb thingies, I guess. Like, what, what is that all about? I really need to like watch something just like going over every single side Easter egg in this game. Also, wait. Oh my God, there's the armor kills. I didn't realize they were that close. Okay, well, there we go, I guess. So uh, what are we on to now? Yeah, we're onto the gold camo. So it's just kills rapidly, I believe. Oh. Oh my lord, dude, I could be dying rapidly. Holy. These kills rapidly could be a bit of a problem. Oh my lord. I think Aether Shroud is going to be kind of the saving grace for this one. Like, this is literally, like, as fast as I can go here. You know what I mean? I guess, again, maybe Deadwire will help out quite a bit. I, I really don't know. We'll just do what we can do, you know? I do want to go ahead and blow up that car down there, though. Can I hit that? No, because uh, my crosshair is just off. Thank you, game. I hate, right, the fact that whenever you go into redacted mode, it always turns it off. It's genuinely, like, so annoying. Uh, we could actually get ourselves level 3 armor here. I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I could do that and also pack with this knife to level 3. Yeah, that could be the shot, you know. Bro, I can't lie, right? Like, I really need to play the campaign for this game. Like, I have been fiending to do it, uh, but like, I'm just kind of busy with doing other things. I've heard it's really good, though, so, you know, don't spoil me about anything. You know, actually, I guess I could, like, start up the sand trail. This is, like, a mildly unfortunate challenge. I can't even lie, boys. Like, do I even really need any of the rewards? Probably not, so I guess I could just use it for the rapid kills. See, this, like, kind of went by quick, but it also, like, hasn't. I don't know. This has just been painful, though. Like, personally, you'll never catch me using the knife ever ever again in zombies you know they've just never been really that good like i think like compared to cold war though like knifing this year has been a bit better the speed of the knife and stuff like that like kind of reminds me of the size from cold war like the combat knife last year was really only used to like see how high of a damage dump you could get but then like, that was about it after after that like nobody really used them i don't know it'd be kind of hype though if we do get like another melee based wonder weapon kind of like the crystal axe that'd be kind of huge the crystal axe is like actually one of my favorite wonder weapons of all time like it is such a cool looking wonder weapon and like it plays really well and it's really strong i really like it i'm open for maybe something like that again if treyarch would go ahead and like grant my christmas wishes but yo we've also gotten so many kills by the way they're like back to back to back i wouldn't be surprised if like we're nearly done with these uh rapid kills to be honest i would genuinely be kind of surprised that was like insanely quick it was a bigger bomb yo could you stop like jumping up and down please big man all right i'm gonna go ahead and pop this i'm kind of just hoping to have these rapid kills and stuff like that done by like round 26 just so i can immediately exhale that'd be kind of nice oh my god oh Oh my god dude this is why i'm not really a big fan of the knife man maybe concussion grenades could be the shout i don't know oh my god game pop this oh my lord dude i'm getting scared come on we must be so close like genuinely we, we got it we got it there we go oh my god huge all right awesome okay all we gotta do now big man 
Oh my god, don't die. All right, literally all we have to do, right, is just make it around 26. And can I please just hit one crit on this man? Like, come on, he is, he, he's, he's open for it, man. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to exfil, though, like, using only the knife. So, I think here's the deal, right? I'm going to try and take out the abomination with the knife to, you know, make it a bit of a challenge. And then I might just run the chopper gunner to finish it off. I think that's fair. Like, I know the whole point of it was to, like, see if you could actually exfil using only, like, the weapons that I'm using. But, like, let's be real, right? We all know that we're not going to be able to exfil using only the knife. Like, let's just keep it 100% real, would you? All right, that's round 24 done. All right, please tell me it's a vermin round or something like that, just so we can, like, quickly get through this round. And then we can exfil. I mean, I could have probably tried to hit, like, I think I've got exit strategy on right now. So I could have tried to hit for that. But, I mean, let's be real. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit late for that. I'm kind of curious, right? Like, what round does the knife just stop one tap in? Like, going into the high rounds, right? Easily not very practical. Unless, actually, hold up. Because in my stream, right, I did the other day. Uh, it was me and my two friends. And, you know, we were doing the round 100 or whatever. Or we were trying to. But, like, the Manglus was getting so OP. And, like, they were really a pain to get through. Especially with the jet gun. Because the jet gun really wasn't that good. So, like, maybe it actually is the shell. To pack up into the knife alongside, like, the jet gun or something like that. And just use the knife to take out only the Manglus. And just, like, use everything else to take out, like, you know, the zombies. That could maybe be the shell. Yeah, I think that would be the play, honestly. But, yeah, I mean, either way. Right, you know, let's go ahead and start this exfil. Then, yeah, let's just see what we can do, right? So, what is good, my boy? Maybe we can get a cheeky little lucky crit on you. No, it's not looking like it. I mean, we are doing like 8,000 damage, though, which is kind of insane. To an abomination, you know. No crits or anything. Like, that is kind of mad. Oh, well, there we go. We got hit a uh, crit there. 55k we just did to him. Still somehow didn't kill him, which is kind of insane. But whatever. Okay, we got him. Yo, maybe we could do this with just a knife. Hold up. I'm going to give it my best shot. You know, if we fail it, we fail it. All right. I want to try and keep it knife only. So, let's just see what we can pull off here. Throw a decoy down. Get them all in one spot. Maybe a dead wire. Oh my god, there we go. That's kind of huge. Yeah, bro, there we go. Like literally five, four, three, two, one. There we go. We actually managed to do it with just a knife. That's kind of insane. It is crazy to think, right? That I was able to do that with just a knife. And there is some guns in this game that I've tried this with where I've not even been able to exfil with it. Fully maxed out. That, that's crazy, bro. Like, that's the thing, right? Like, the knife is actually really good, but it's just also a massive pain in the ass because it only kills one zombie at a time. If there was some kind of like augment or some kind of perk put it in that would allow you to do like a swipe attack that would take out multiple enemies that it would be so much better but yeah if we go ahead head to our loadouts go to customize and go to camo there it is there's our gold knife obviously you can't really see it because of the skin so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off real quick and then what does it look like oh my lord that is beautiful holy that is so clean yeah let's go ahead and jump over the multiplayer real quick do you just want to go ahead and check it out in private match just because like bro that looks so nice oh there it is oh my lord i mean it obviously just looks really nice all right i mean look we do not funny little tricks there bro this thing is so sick yeah Nah, it is, it is actually so clean. Like, I can't even lie. Like, I really fuck with it. Kind of wish I didn't have these, like, ugly-ass hands on right now. Like, that is absolutely foul. But there we go, boys. That is the gold knife. Very happy to finally have it. I'm really happy to finally have this. Because it's just something you can take into every game. You know what I mean? That's why I do, like, really like the knife camos. Because, you know, I'm always going to see it, right? Especially in zombies. Like, when I switch their knives to, like, move faster and stuff like that. Like, I'll just I'll just be able to look at it and be like, Oh, look at it. Look, look how quirky that is. But, yeah, I mean, that is going to be it for the video. So, I um, hope you guys did enjoy. But, uh, uh, yeah, you know, with that all said and done, I will see you guys in the next video.